What's up, modern studders? Today we're gonna move the chicks and the ducklings outside in a chicken tractor. The weather this week is looking nice and warm. Today we're in the 80s, so they're stinking up our basement. We got like 54 birds living on our basement. Yeah, that's a lot of poo. So that means it's time to get them outside in the chicken tractor because the weather's nice. We've been getting asked quite a bit lately is how much land do you really need to raise your chickens on pasture or grass? So let's talk about that. Let's get them some fresh water. Let's get this tractor moved to greener pasture. We need to set the feeder up low enough to the ground so the chicks can get at it. And that's why we have this adjustable chain on this end and on this end. We can adjust it so it's just hanging on the ground. So we want to make sure the chicks can get that. We'll have it hanging on the ground for right now. The chicks can get to that perfectly. I like that. Let's go get the chicks! In tomorrow's video, I'm going to discuss why I decided to make this style chicken tractor versus the Joel Salatin style chicken tractor. We've had them both, and we've had people asking us, why do we prefer one over the other? That'll be tomorrow's video! You know what I didn't do yet? I forgot to let the pigs out. We've only been home for a few minutes anyways. Let's go let the pigs out on pasture. They'll love it. Good afternoon, piggies. Look at that nice little dirt hole you got dug. Huh? Oh, look at that. Right by your feeder. You don't want to have to go far to eat, do you? Not my boots. Come on, let's go run and play. We don't need to eat my boots. Is it too hot for you today to run? Yeah, it's pretty warm, huh? I don't blame you. I don't want to run around either. The modern steaders want to say hello. Don't eat the camera. Look, there's a nice apple for you. Right here, look. No, right here. Perfect time, and you can give me a hand getting the chickens out. Really? Or the chicks out, I should say. In the basement. You got them outside? Yep. So, what did you get today? An egg print. An egg print? That's awesome. Made for you from me with love. Ooh. Thank you, Kim. What's her name? Thank you, Kim. Cool beans. Dude. That's awesome. Can I wear it when I go get, collect eggs? I'm going with you. Oh, I thought I didn't know if I could wear it. It'd look good on dad. We gotta get the chicks outside first. And then, we'll the then we can get eggs. Okay. Alright, let's take out their feeder. And their waterer. And we'll bring the ducklings in with them. These guys are getting huge. Look at this guy. Oh! Let's get another one. Last one. 
ducklings are very skittish. There, yeah. socializing with the chicks. Ducks are kind of crazy. What's that? Ducks are kind of crazy. <laughs> They're very skittish. I don't know if all ducks are, or just the khaki campbells. Well, it seems like a lot of ducks like people, but these ones kind of don't. No, at least the khaki campbells we've ever had. All well, ducks. it's mean. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Mm -hmm. No, I. Don't know. He's going to town eating that grass already. These guys are over here. They like the clovers. Look at the duck. So I got some hay for them. If they need a little bit of extra warmth tonight for bedding, they can all snuggle up in the little bit of hay I brought. Let's give them some feed. You got some eggs? Mm -hmm. Let's say. Cool. Let's stick this in the corner. Oh um, no. Daddy, I just saw one get out. They can get out. They're fine. They can get their head out, but they're not going to get out out. And they can get back in. Oh, they're not. They can't. Their whole bodies can't get out. That's the funniest thing ever. Now tell me that isn't a beautiful sight. Baby chicks on pasture, just eating the grass. They already know what to do. It's just instinctual. Look, they just know what to do. Oh, they're kissing each other. You ready to go try out your new egg print? Uh -huh. Let's go. I think it's hot, so they want the shade. 
I'm gonna hand you the eggs. Okay. Well, we got that many in there. Where'd they all go? What are you doing, ladies? Must be because we had you locked inside yesterday. You were mad at us. We have two more, but they're dirty. Oh, you can have this one. The last one's dirty, dirty. We'll let them eat it. Eh, no, it's not that bad. You can have it. So there's two um, four bar drops. Cool beans. Oh, and one silky. We gotta go get the silky one. They broke an egg in the nest box, man. This area in like a few days. They did, didn't they? Well, show them how good they did. This is the grass where they haven't been, and that's where they were for a week. Did a really good job eating that grass down, huh? Now we can go get some zucchini for dinner. First we're gonna check the garden where the pig pen was last year. Okay. And then we'll check the hay bales. Okay. Just watch out, we got cucumber plants here. So come over here. This row right here is zucchini. And I know I saw one the other day. Crazy. It is crazy, isn't it? Okay. So right there, you see it? Yep, I can't get it right. You can get it. Get in there. There you go. Twist it. Awesome. Perfect. Easy. See if there's any more over here. I'm not seeing any. Oh, oh, it's an even bigger one, Olivia. See it? Yeah. Woo woo. More. Not any big enough ones, but there's some over at the yeah, hay bale a, garden. Yeah, there's a little one. I saw the little one. Where? Just. Oh, the little one's yeah. there, yep. Let's go check out the hay bale garden. I see one. You see it? Any more? Let's check and see if we got oh, any it's more. It's a bee. It's a bee? Awesome. <laughs> there's a couple here. But they're not big enough yet. In a few more days, we'll be eating them. Just check over here, but I think that's it. That's more than enough for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got dinner tonight. Woo -woo. Guess what we got for ya? Ooh, ooh, look at those. Look at all the eggs you got. We've had some modern steaders asking us how much land do you need to raise your own meat birds? And the answer is not that much. The first time we raised our own meat birds, we raised them on, I'd say between a quarter of an acre and half an acre. Our yard was three acres. All the property we owned was three acres. But we didn't have that much grass and almost a third of it was our garden. The first time we raised our meat chickens, we made a six foot by six foot, Joel Salatin style chicken tractor and we just moved them around our lawn. That's all it was at the time, it was just our lawn. We moved them around the front lawn, the back lawn, and then the next year, we had awesome grass. After the chickens ran on it, we had some really good lawn. And the next spring, our lawn was the first one to come up in that neighborhood. It was amazing. So you don't need that much grass, really, to raise your own meat birds. Make a small chicken tractor that fits your size yard, and just move it around every day or a couple of times a day. Remember, if you're doing cornishes, you only need to have enough lawn to raise these animals for eight weeks. I'll let you in on a little secret too. The time we butchered those, that was the first time I had ever butchered an animal before. And I wore rubber gloves. And now I'm like a professional. So that's it. You just gotta start and do it. Just do it and you'll figure it out and you'll get better and better as you go. The first time I started, it was pretty funny. But now we can do it. We don't enjoy it or love it, but we really love the food it provides for our family. 
Are you ready to try the first homegrown vegetable for the season? Yep. All right, go for it. Here we go. I'll do that first. How is it? Mm. Really good. Really good. Let's do it a different way. Yep. Don't worry, we're gonna have plenty have more zucchini. Up. Have plenty of time to. And we're gonna have lots of zucchini. Oh, mm -hmm. They're getting pollinated by the bees. Yep, we can throw a bee on it. That's some good zucchini. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as we enjoyed our first batch of zucchini from the garden. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Love the Acres, a guide to modern home setting, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Oh, and guys, thanks for the birthday wishes. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.